hello and welcome to proudly South Africans 21st anniversary of amazing fashion of supporting local and us looking so amazing in our native and local attire. Let's give Paris South African a big round of applause for that. You know, none of you are wearing all of those other brands and that come from this other country. We won't mention them, we're not giving you a free publicity. But you are able to look as fine as we all are when we look at the products. So it's the right thing to do, just to support the Buy Local campaign. That was my introduction. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the evening. Thank you very much for honoring our invitation. Thank you very much uh, for supporting the course. Uh, we bestow you the honor of being ambassador of Paris and the today and beyond. And we hope that you'll continue to spread the message. Enjoy the evening. So I'm not allowed to say over there, how do you see Usis uh, Welokas? Yes. You will see Swelo Kali, apparently, according to the team and part in South Africa. And thank you so much, everybody, for being here. And uh, I'll come as such a thing. I don't know what you do about me. <laughs> it's okay to admit, right? Yeah, it's okay to admit. So, thank you so much for being here today. Mine is a very simple one. To give you an overview of why we're doing all of this. Uh, there is some coordination to the in this, by the way. And uh, so, so the local fashion police of the concept that started last year, where our we tasked with the responsibility as communicators and marketing people to come up with the, the most relatable and simple way uh, to communicate with consumers and uh, to fight the misconception of myth that uh, anything that is manufactured or produced locally is not good enough. We are those guys, we are here to say, contrary to that ill-informed uh, perception, um, you know, look at us tonight, um, uh, you know, we all look good, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, appreciating our own effect. The buy local you know, uh, 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 movement is a tried and tested method of development for every country has its own buy local movement for the betterment of its economy. And that's why we exist as part of South Africa. So last year, uh, we thought outside the box, if you like, and we said, what is the most nicest, coolest way to uh, communicate with South Africans and say, you can really buy local clothes and look pretty good. And uh, you, know, you know that South Africans, we love looking great, right? We, all of us have got that element of fashion inside us. We love music, we like good clothes, we like good food. Uh, we are those guys and we came up with local fashion police. We started off with four and the idea behind it, the same to South Africans, because we all have uh, selfies and Instagram, us out here will tell you one or two things about it. Uh, you know, so let's, let's create a social media competition and uh, we identified four uh, designers, local designers, uh, that are member, uh, you know, that are affiliated with South Africa. And we said to South Africa, take a picture of yourself. Where you really, it could be sporty, it could be a uh, red carpet gritty outfit, it could be a traditional outfit. And we're trying to say to South Africa, you know when we say we're local, many South Africans are thinking traditional way. No, it was not about that, right? It was not about traditional way, it's about, about whatever it is that makes you feel good, whether it's your own sneakers, whether it's jeans and t-shirts, whatever it is that makes you feel good. And this idea was very well received by the public last year. Uh, there were many entries, in fact, our designers last year was David Kale, Paul Sume, Casper, uh, and Cook uh, Studios. Uh, and, uh, uh, and it was a very successful uh, campaign. People took all sorts of pictures. We had a good laugh. Uh, just like this year, you know, uh, the entries are amazing. I mean, behind the scenes, a lot has happened. We've seen the funniest things. Some of the entries we wanted to run away, hide underneath the tables. Uh, some we will be show you in the public domain. But it was really, but it was about the effort and the fact that people reacted very positively to what we were trying to achieve. A very well liked uh, idea for the clothing textile group in the leather sector, which is a sector that we work very closely with. 
But before this year, uh, let's do it again and take it a notch up a little bit. And uh, the winning prize last year was looking for four winners. Each of them was going to win 10,000 rand. So we said this year we'll go for another 10,000 rand. We did an Oprah, we had an Oprah moment. Everybody was a you win a prize, you win a prize. We prize. And uh, so, so the winning prize is yeah, 20,000 rand per person. We've got four more judges, and this year's judges are uh, Star Design by Silva Mudupi. And uh, our second designer is uh, Ruby Khan. We all know Our third is a member of the campaign, Hidikana. She has a shop in Melbourne, and you know she's a... <laughs> And last but not least, uh, we have Fiji. Uh, you know, in the beginning, we had uh, Gavin Raja, couldn't be part of the, the entire program anymore. So, uh, so we had about a lot, lot of entries and uh, we ended up with about 50 finalists and then the judges got together. There was a big fight between them. It was an outdoor kind of situation. You know, where they arguing about who looks good, who made the effort and all of that. Um, you'll see the entries just now. But, um, and so, so, but there's a catch, right? When you win 20,000 grand, you are not paying that money into your account. Because there's a risk. You get the money and then you go buy a diamond walk. It defeats the whole purpose. You have got to spend the money lowly. So we pay the designer. There are others, of course. <laughs> somebody, somebody, has to pay the, somebody has to pay the police, right? So probably this is often that is paid the police. So we pay the designer and then the winner goes shopping, they lose their minds. And also, you know, it's about the fact that you think it's kind of designs and you think it could be I'm by the way, I'm very little yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> so so you think it's really hard, you think it's kind of designs and Fiji, and you're thinking, ah, red cupcakes, you know, where am I going? Listen, every day is a celebration. Just look nice and chicken. With no way to go, because you never know. But uh, but also, but it's just it doesn't you know it is, that's not necessarily true. They can design anything, anything. It doesn't matter what it is, and that's what the competition is about. So we do have four women.